Quench Juice Bar Philadelphia. Minority and vet owned using local vendors for their fruits and adding no added sugar to their products. Available on DoorDash and Grubhub. Grab yours today. Location, 1500 Market Street, Suite 1455 Philadelphia, PA. Grab yours. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam, and here at Viral Hip Hop News, do me a favor, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and subscribe to the brand. Viral Hip Hop News, appreciate each and every one of y'all. Quick plug for my guy, Quench Juice Bar Philadelphia, out of Philadelphia, PA. Minority and vet owned. Go check that brother out and the great things he's doing out in Philadelphia, PA right now. Working with our health and wealth. All right, let's get it. Will Smith still doing his thing in the box office, still on his redemption tour, I guess, if you can call it. Some people feel like it's a redemption tour. Others don't give a damn. They're enjoying their favorite actor do his favorite thing, you know what I mean? And that is get on the big screen and do what he does. He's doing it very well. Martin Lawrence out there kicking ass and taking names. I have not seen the movie yet, but I heard and hearing from a lot of people it's the best one out yet out of the four Bad Boys installments, which I personally find surprising. Because Bad Boys won. I don't know if there, there's something, anything that can beat that. But we're going to find out. Anyway, there's a lot of people saying a lot of things about Will Smith. One in particular, Rob Snyder. Right? And Rob Snyder came out and called Will Smith an asshole. Said this and that about Will Smith. And at the time, I kind of left it alone. Even though I have personal experiences with Rob Snyder from my former employment years and years ago. Doing escorts for casinos that I used to work at. And to be perfectly honest with you, he wasn't a very nice guy. In fact, he was a dickhead, if I'm just being completely honest. He was an asshole. Not the first person I've heard this from. We've talked to Guy Tory. He said it on other publications. He said it on our show. Rob Snyder's an asshole. Rob Snyder's not a really good person. Now, at the time, Rob Snyder was obviously sticking up for his boy, Chris Rock, who he's done movies with, and obviously he's cool with, which is cool. But you want to call out somebody else, isn't that the pot calling the kettle fucking black? So... As I was doing more research on Rob Snyder, I came across this old clip of Rob Snyder, coincidentally enough, talking about reparations and things owed to black people and descendants of slaves. Very interesting stuff. And I want to play what he said about that current topic and then get your thoughts on it. So without further ado, let's hear what Mr. Rob Snyder had to say about his feelings regarding reparations. And it's gone out of committee to approve slave reparations to be paid to people who were never slaves, to be paid for by people who never owned slaves in a state that never had slaves. That's, that's like paying child support for a child you never had to a woman you never fucked. Interesting. Interesting stuff. You always see the true colors of a person when it comes down to accountability, when it comes down to money, and when it comes down to accountability ending up in owing some money. Right now, no one's blaming Rob Snyder for slavery. No one's blaming any of Rob Snyder's current family members for slavery. But let's just call facts what the facts are. There were slaves in America, and there were people who enslaved black people in America and we've had atrocities throughout this world genocides throughout this world and those people were paid reparations for the atrocities that happened to their people that happened to their culture the elimination and extermination of their people they were compensated for that with the exception of one with the exception of one so let me ask you this to anybody answer the question if you were a descendant of a old sixth seventh generation king or emperor or queen or whatever the case may be robs and riches were stolen you come to find out centuries later that you are a descendant of this person and you are heir to a throne now did the people currently holding that money do it to you no did it currently happen to you no but do you want your goddamn money you damn right you do if you're a descendant of somebody that's owed some money and that next in line is you. You want your fucking bread. I don't care what color, race, creed, or whatever the case may be. You want your bread. You want your bread. But when it comes to black people, for some reason or another, when it comes to this reparations conversation, people want to all of a sudden go, oh, well, it didn't happen to you. Oh, well, I didn't do it. Why should I have to pay when I learned that? Now, fuck all that. Because it's the right thing to do. What are we going to use with it? Doesn't matter. Oh, they're just going to give it back. Doesn't matter. 
Doesn't matter. Right is right. And wrong is wrong. And I thought this was a perfect time to bring up a conversation that Rob Schneider has as he sits on his high horse and tries to bring down somebody else because of mistakes that they made, albeit publicly in front of the world. Made publicly. So now you want to sit on your high horse and run your mouth. Interesting. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this situation. Appreciate each and every one of y'all saying Ant CEO. The brand viral hip-hop news. I love each and every one of y'all. Some great and big and major changes coming to viral hip-hop news. Stick around for that. Been saying it for a little while, but it's definitely coming to fruition. And Until next time, until next story, I love each and every one of y'all. Love yourselves, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.